difference between k-means in R versus in the pivotal R with MATLAB? Uh, so in the pivotal R with MATLAB, your uh, data is uh, is living in the database, and the uh, actual computation is done in the database. So this just uh, helps you to uh, use the R uh, types of notation and R uh, interface. So uh, if your data set is especially too large to fit in your memory and you want to run this uh, in the cluster, in the, uh, in the database side, then uh, Pivotular uh, provides that functionality. Where in R, if your uh, data is not fitting in your memory, then you tank the performance quite badly. <clears throat> I think it's, it's attractive for customers who have large data sets that don't fit in memory. So maybe there are users, they're familiar with the R interface, they use some of the other R packages for plotting and, and, and such, um, but the data doesn't fit in memory. So the whole idea here is to allow to give a familiar R interface for large data sets running in memory. So we have several customers who are, um, who are using it uh, regularly. So I guess it runs the, the, the spectrum of the kinds of analysis that people use uh, MATLAB for because it's you know, a layer on top of MATLAB. So it's use cases in financial services, in government, in manufacturing, uh, in, uh, in retail, and um, you know, the machine learning kinds of um, uh, projects that happen within those verticals. Uh, hello everyone, thanks again for coming. My name is Orhan and I'm a member of the MATLAB team. Uh, today we are going to uh, talk a little bit about the uh, new pivotal R uh, related stuff we have been working on uh, for our next release 110. Uh, so I'm not going to go into much detail for the uh, algorithms themselves since uh, they have been already documented and uh, uh, been there for a while. Uh, this is just going to cover the uh, new wrappers that we uh, added uh, so that our users can easily uh, use the MATLAB functions in the database themselves. Now we're going to demo the k-means. So uh, <clears throat> here's what uh, the data looks like in the database. It's on a GBDB and this uh, small part of the contents. You can see multiple points for uh, multiple coordinates for each point. Here's how it looks like when we run the uh, k-means. And this is the output clusters, selectors, objective functions, and the equivalent uh, output for our k-means function. So it's you. You run the same. You run either k-means normal or k-means from Madlib, and it's a similar interface. But then the experience is the same. But this will push it to the database to do the count. Yes, this right? will be uh, run on the database. Can you show one more time the Madlib version, the PLR, the pivotal R version? Awesome.